So Punch-Out! has been a thing in the arcades for Nintendo since, I believe, 1984. The reason it became Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! is because Nintendo of America's founder and former president, Minoru Arakawa, saw Mike Tyson at a fight and said, gotta get this guy. So paid him $50,000 to use his name and likeness for three years. So you're little Mac from, from the Bronx, who's, uh, he's about half the size of his opponents in the game that he's facing. In the arcade, the opponents and your character were really big, and to make up for this, you had to be a wireframe so you could see through your character to your opponent. They couldn't really do that with the Nintendo, so instead they just made him real small, called him Little Mac. So he jumps to punch him in the face, and then punches regularly to hit them in the body. And so you basically dodge, duck, and block punches. If you dodge a punch from an opponent, they will be stunned for a split second, and you can punch them usually between one and several times. This was a game, much like the arcade version, there was a lot of nuance to it. You know, you had to keep an eye on the tells. Sometimes these tells are extraordinarily subtle. Uh, if you punch an opponent during special times, usually when something flashes on them, um, or they blink, you can get a star up to three. Let you use the good old special Little Mac uppercut, which will, if you connect with it, take off a lot more power. I mean, it's essentially a, a, a game based on timing, and it's 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 not a very it's not a simulation by any means, but it's uh, it's the controls are so well done and so tight that it is your skills are your only limitation. In the game. <laughs> You could really get good at this game if you learned the patterns and sharpened your reflexes, but it's still really hard. Yeah, Mike Tyson, the first minute you face him, one punch floors you on the canvas. And so a lot of players, that was it. They would get knocked down and be done after that. Most of your opponents use the exact same body and just have a head and palate swap, but King Hippo, of course, was just a unique body because he's just a hippo. He's a big hippo. All the opponents are, are memorable to some extent. They're all ethnic stereotypes. Right. <laughs> you know, you have a German, you have Don Flamenco, who's a Spaniard, you have Piston Hanza, who's, who's Japanese. He gives he's a TKO from Tokyo. Hey, Mario's in it. He's the ref, um, and he's got like synthesized speech. That, you know, it's just like wah, wah, just little sounds that are supposed to sound like speech, but it's not. There's another version of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, simply called Punch-Out, released by Nintendo after the fact. 1990. A lot of people seem to think that it's uh, because of the legal trouble Mr. Tyson happened to find himself in, but it's a lot more mundane than that. It's simply that the licensing agreement with Mike Tyson ran out and it was not renewed. They decided to go ahead and take out Mike Tyson in future versions of the game and replace him with Mr. Dream. Just a great, fantastic game. Um, it's Legacy, it had a game on the Super Nintendo, and then the, the Wii, and now he's gonna be in the next Smash Brothers game, Little Mac, finally. We love you, Little Mac. Yay!